Good evening, everybody. Sean here with uh, the latest edition of Beer Semi Goodness. Uh, tonight's edition is another one that was recently given to me by my uh, friend Jen, a fellow beer enthusiast. Uh, this one is from a company called Laughing Dog, which is um, located in Idaho. Interesting. But that, uh, so they are domestic. Um, the particular beer in question, Anubis, Imperial Coffee Porter. Now the, uh, I've actually had Laughing Dog before. This is the first time I've actually done a beer review of it, however. They, uh, as the name of the brewing company would suggest, their specialty seems to be finding amusing ways to uh, incorporate dog into the uh, into the brew, the, the word, not dog, because that would be really wrong. Anyway, um, I've got another example here of another of the Laughing Dog Brewings. Uh, this is their Imperial Stout, which comes out in the wintertime. Uh, the Dog Father, which I had a year, year and a half, two years ago. It was also quite good. So they've uh, got some decent stuff. I mean... So far, my experience has been they only come in the larger uh, bomber bottle. But they're not terribly expensive, and the flavors are good. So, yeah, I'd have to have to get behind them. So, here we have the... Uh, I've already done the pour, and I've actually already had half the bottle, so this is round two. As you can see, a uh, good dark full body on that. Modest head, little uh, yeah, about about what you would expect. It's a little dark for porter. I've got to assume that's the uh, the coffee that uh, is brewed with this particular one. Most porters have a lighter head. This looks more characteristic of an imperial stout. But anyway, it's uh, it's a winner. I, um, I mean, it's not the most robust coffee flavor. Um, one of the local Philly com brewing companies does uh, one called Joe's Coffee Porter that I think I reviewed in the past, and that one is like, you know, boom. Same thing with uh, Trogues, which is uh, based out towards central Pennsylvania. It's another one that uh, they do an Imperial Java Stout, which is... Uh, Definitely not only an assault on the taste buds, but uh, on the olfactory senses. It's just, you know, very potent. You know, this one, you know, it's definitely there. You know, I, I'm not, I've had beers where it's like, you know, where's the flavor? Where's the aroma? You know, I, you know, it's lacking one or the other, or God forbid, both. But, you know, that really sucks when you spend $10 and that happens, so... But yeah, fortunately, this is not one of them. This is uh, this is definitely one that you know. I, I thank you, Jen. This is awesome. Of the uh, three bottles that you got for me, this is without question the uh, at the top of the list. You know, I definitely would. You know, go with that one again. And uh, I like the cover art. That's uh, that's stylish. They. Uh, the, la the Laughing Dog guys clearly have a sense of humor and a uh, grip on the pop culture. You know, I respect this. So. And that's pretty much it. The, um, like I said, the aroma, you know, not, not, not an assault on the senses, but, you know, you can nevertheless detect it. You know, the flavor is definitely, you know, more than adequate. Does the job. And, uh, yeah. So once again, I'm going to give this uh, this brew a, an enthusiastic thumbs up. And uh, how about it? I'll see you all next time. Till then, this is Sean. Cheers.